सो यू जस्ट मेड योर वेरी गुड लुकिंग सीन एंड यू पुट वेरी मच टाइम एंड एफर्ट इन दैट एंड देन इफ यू प्रेस रेंडर दिस हैपन्स वेल दिस इज ऑल्सो हैपन टू मी वेन आई वॉज मेकिंग द लास्ट टूटोरियल विच यू कैन वॉच इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एंड आई वॉज वेरी डिसअपॉइंटेड एंड I came across this new technique called as render layers in which you render each layer separately and then combine them in either Photoshop, Blender or any video editor of your choice. This is very convenient method for rendering fast, uh, saving a lot of memory and uh, saving a lot of time also. So let's see how I rendered this animation. So let's start the tutorial. Okay so here's our scene and as you can see that this is very large scene and if i try to play this animation you can see that it is lagging very much while you are watching this video the screen recording might also lag so for the moment i will hide the particle system for everything Okay cool so now as you can see we have this such a large scene and if you want to know how i made this scene you can watch this video and it will be also in the link in the description so to render this image uh, we normally press f12 and just render it but uh, in this case we will use a feature in blender called render layers and what render layers do is that they render each layer separately uh, if we assign a image or certain objects to a single layer it will render them separately and it will Uh, even increase the speed of your rendering and your computer won't be out of memory and also it is very performance convenient for such huge scene just like ours so to create render layers first we need to assign objects in collections so for example you can see that i have this castle collection and i have all of this object of the castle which are inside of our castle in this collection and same for the rocks foliage landscape trees and this terrain and if you don't know how to move object to a certain collection uh, let me show you how so if we go to landscape and i will bring this landscape out of our collection okay now as you can see that i have selected this landscape and if you have selected an object and press m you will see that move to a new collection now you can create a new collection or you can create an existing collection so for the sake of this tutorial i will create a new collection and i will call it as background mountain okay and then hit okay and there's our new collection so i have created separate collections for each object your camera uh, your lighting and certain elements that are in every layer should be out of the separate collection and i mean they should be under our scene collection now to create separate render layers you can see that here is our view layer which is by default our render layer so to create a new layer you just press this button and when you press this you will see there is a new uh, copy settings and blank so blank will create a new layer copy settings will copy the view layer and paste it to the new layer we will create and new will just create a new layer i think it would be blank i guess so we will just copy setting so hit copy setting okay now as you can see that we have created a new layer which is uh, our view layer 001 and if you click this drop down you will see all of the render layers in our scene so don't get confused by the view layer and render layer they all are the same so now in this layer i only want the landscapes so i will uncheck the castle the rocks foliage trees terrain and background mountain okay so in short uh, only this object will be in our scene so if we go to rendered view you can see that uh, only these are the objects that would get rendered but uh, i want some uh, some transparency and some holes Uh, in our scene so that uh, if we put the layers on top of each other uh, they should be able to match with our scene so first uh, go to render properties and under fill just check this transparent so it will make the environment transparent now uh, we have this castle as you can see if i check that 
okay so now as you can see we have this castle object in our scene and when we put our castle on top of the landscape layer it should be able to it should be able to fit in that position correctly uh, so to do that just click this filter and you can see that this is uh, hold out and this is indirect only so i will explain you so hold out means that it will punch a mask in that position so as you can see that we we have just created a mask for our castle and and i think everything is fine so we are done with this layer so i will create once again a new layer so copy settings and this time it will be for the castle only so i don't think that we need much indirect effect and mask for castle it's time for rocks and uh, also we have to mask out the terrain with our rocks because the rock layer will be on top of the terrain layer so we have to check both of the uh, holdout and indirect effects and uh, i think it's fine now let's copy setting again and this time it's trees by the way let's rename this as rocks okay now let's go to trees and let's see how trees are looking in our scene okay now let's mask them with our terrain and also indirect effects and and i think everything is pretty much okay for our trees so let's copy setting again and the more you categorize your layers the faster will you will render so you can <laughs> do it on your own so let's create a background layer and also let's punch a hole on a landscape layer for now because uh, we have a mountain in there so so there you go and also i don't think indirect effect would do anything so that's landscape and let's go to background and now for the background let's uncheck all of these and check background and we will mask it with the landscapes and let's mask them okay now it's good now for the view layer let's set that and the view layer will be our uh, uh, very near terrain uh, ground plane i could say so uncheck castle uh, i think rocks will be needed foliage is not uh, landscape will be not also trees terrain background will not be also okay now let's hold out rocks and indirect effects for shadow and also for trees and indirect effects of them also now i think we are done with our render layers now it's time to render but uh, before rendering we have to set up our uh, output so if you go to compositing tab and you can see that here is our render layer and you will see the output in the output properties and you can see that i have set the output so let's change this place so now i will create a new folder called as render layers and in that we will create a and in that we will create a folder called terrain uh, which will be our foreground land so now uh, whenever we hit render this layer this are uh, i will rename it as terrain okay so whenever we we will hit render this terrain layer will be uh, saved in our terrain folder and now what about uh, the other layers so to do that let's go to compositing so let's copy this render layer node so press shift d and first of all let's count the number of layers we have so one two three four five six okay six times so now we have to assign them a output directory so let's hit search and let's search for output 
and you can see here file output so let's add in here and now let's change the layer from terrain to landscape and plug the image into this image and let's select this folder so let's create a separate folder for this one so it will be our landscape folder okay so i will repeat the same process with everyone and i will see you in a minute so now we are done with the messy stuff and now it's time for render so i also added a file output for this render layer also for our terrain and make sure that you are rendering with alpha also so if you select this file output and press n on your keyboard and go to node you can see that it is rendering in rgb which means red green blue and we need rgba which means red green blue and alpha and alpha means transparency so i will do that for all of this okay so now let's go to our layout and for the sake of the tutorial i will render only with 500 samples so let's hit f12 and now as you can see that we are rendering different different layers so this is our terrain layer so now this is our landscape and this is our castle and these are our rocks and these are our trees and this is our ice cream cone okay so now we are done with our renders so let's close this tab and first of all let's save our project because we have put very much time and effort on this now you can combine all of them in this compositing tab but i found it very messy and complex for as a beginner also and for you to understand also so i recommend that uh, combining all of them in a compositing software like photoshop or gimp uh, by the way both of them are almost the same so let's go to photoshop and let's hit open and let's open this our terrain image okay now as you can see this is completely transparent and let's open all of the images the advantage of using uh, render layers is that you can color grade them differently and if you found any flaws in some part of the scene you just have to render that layer again and also if you want to render just a single layer you can just click on this button to just render that single layer so i thought that this would come handy someday so okay so now let's open all of the image and so that you don't have to render the whole scene again <laughs> okay so now they are all here now let's combine them so first of all let's see okay so this is our terrain so let's move this one okay now they are all here so let's hide them one by one and first of all let's start with our background so it will be in the bottom and above that will be our terrain and on top of that will be our background and now our trees so and now our rocks so let's place them here okay and at last our castle okay so i think the rock layer should on top of the trees and the castle should be in the back of this and there you go we have just assembled all of our parts into this one image and that's it guys if you enjoyed this video hit like and subscribe to my channel for more of this 3d content and if you want to support me you can download the resources from my gumroad page or you can thank me on youtube thanks button so that's it and bye bye